Hi, Sherwin Escanuela with Huntington & Ellis, a real estate agency. I wanted to give you a quick tour of our newest listing, a former model on 7230 Shenandoah Springs. This house is over 4,800 square feet sitting on a 12,000 square foot lot. One of only 20 homes in a gated community in the Northwest, and this was their model home, one of three. So this is an opportunity for you to be able to buy something and uh, really see all the upgrades that this model actually has that no other homes in the community has. Uh, over here, it will start off with the split driveway. Um, you've got a four car garage with two being detached with a guest house right above it. So let's take a look at the house and get started on the tour. So if you guys see, check out the landscaping. Uh, it's nice and lush, unlike a lot of desert uh, homes out here in the desert over here right before you enter you will notice like a covered patio area this has a wraparound covered patio because it also has a wraparound balcony so it's going to be awesome when we take a tour of the home welcome home so when you enter the home, you have a formal living room and dining room immediately along with an office and a half bathroom. The first thing you'll notice is the floors. These are actual real wood floors throughout the downstairs area and the staircase along with the master. You'll notice that they've also upgraded everything. You've got wainscots all around. It's got upgraded cabinetry here in the formal dining room. The ceilings, I mean, it's just beautiful. And the homeowners have lived there for several years and the one thing the first time I ever walked in was like, wait, there's no, there's no blinds and the issue of privacy. But because of the la lush landscaping, you'll notice that it's private. So even though there's no blinds here, it's extremely private. And again, it has access here to where the wraparound patio leads all the way to the backyard. So all those little touches that are available here that were not available, um, on any other house because they didn't either didn't they pay for the upgrade or they didn't want it. It's uh, kind of touring some of the model homes you've ever seen in the past and then you get to the design center and realize how much it is and you're like kind of over the budget. So you'll notice they've upgraded. Now you'll see a touch of green, yeah the paint is green but you notice the countertops have a nice little touch, it's not subtle, backsplash, even the cabinets all match. There's really because it was a model and it was designed from from the beginning all the way to the end. They really didn't leave any details kind of not touched. Beautiful kitchen, in my opinion, with the two dishwashers, the five burner stove, and it's got the dual ovens over there. Now the microwave is located here, down there, as opposed to having it, well, most houses you see it up here, but they wanted to make sure it has a good vent system that leads to the outside. All the cabinets, again, upgraded. Backsplash is upgraded, if you'll notice, this isn't the same backsplash as the other one, but it gives you a nice touch because when you enter the home, it matches the flooring um, of the house. And you'll see all the wood flooring. They've even upgraded the ceilings here. Surround sound system. And you can see it wasn't an afterthought because the way it's cut and made, whether it's the lighting, the vent system, or the speaker system, it was made this way. Sometimes when you have a house and they're doing upgrades, you know, after you buy it, you can tell it was an afterthought. That's not the case here. You've got like this, what they call a country sitting area, and you've got like another dining room area. So plenty of room to entertain. That's one of the things I really like about the house is it uses up the space extremely well. It separates it, but at the same time, it's open. You gotta check this out, I like this this part right here. So over here in that long driveway that you guys have seen earlier, it has a nice little side courtyard. So a nice little sitting area to kind of chill on the side along with the backyard. And this wasn't a particular builder. It was a one-off custom builder that built this home. And then that was it. I don't recall seeing this house anywhere else. There's the handles I'm talking about here. Again, handles I'm talking about here. The one thing they ended up changing in this house was here. This is obviously a keyless entry, digital lock. It's because if you come out of the driveway, this is the door that has access. So you don't walk all the way to the front and you don't have to cut through the garage. Little touches like that make a huge difference. And again, it continues here. Look at the wainscot here. It's the way this is done matches the cabinets. 
Underneath here where this carpet is, is all real wood. If you want to pull out the carpet and have it all wood, you are more than welcome to. So here's the master bedroom. Plantation shutters, speaker systems, crown molding at the top. They didn't just leave it open. Crown molding, all the lighting is taken care of. I mean, they didn't really miss much details here. Yeah, you can say that the paint is green. You can change that, that's an extremely simple fix. If you wanna change the entire flow of the house, change the color, you're done. The wood floors will match with darn near everything and all the paint is perfect in the home. Again, I only find these in model homes, um, the wallpaper, right? A lot of times there is no wallpaper, it's just painted, but this has wallpaper. You've got the countertops here, if you take a look, matches downstairs. The cabinets matches everything in the kitchen. The granite in the jetted tub matches. I was told during a video shoot to actually like turn it on and put flowers on it. I'm really not doing that. This is the only other bedroom that has its own bath. So it's got a full bath here. So this particular unit has its own walk-in closet. This is a massive bedroom. This has its own AC unit. And the reasoning I was told it was done this way was because this is the one bedroom above the garage. So if you guys lived in Vegas long enough, normally what's above the garage is hotter so it doesn't match the temperature throughout the whole home. So whoever has this bedroom has their own thermostat and their own AC so it doesn't affect the rest of the house. So if the garage is a little hot and makes this room a little warmer, if you want the house to be 76, that could get to 76, this room could be 78 to 80 degrees so you wanna be able to control the temperature a little bit better. But um, you may see later if I haven't pointed out, the garage is cooled. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the garage overheating or being too hot. So yeah, this one has its own AC unit. Speaker systems are also in this room. This here is an additional office that they just added. It used to be a gym. I think I need it. I'd turn it back into the gym to see if I can slim down, but I'd probably choke if I'm eating a taco while running on the treadmill. That's kind of hard. But yeah, this, this, this was the gym they reconverted into an office. And just for fun now, we'll step out from the office all around so you can check out the wraparound balcony. All the way around. It's a nice touch. Now the only other entry or exit for this is in the master. So the master bedroom is the only other spot you have it for. This was the master bedroom French doors that we saw earlier. But again, wraparound balcony. Um, I guess uh, it would be fair to point out, this is a street. Now, if you can't tell, let me move here. This street is not a busy street. It's not even marked. It looks like almost like a private road. It's a bunch of custom and large acreage properties and horse properties. So you can probably sit out here for a good 10, 15 minutes before you even see a car swing by. It's not gonna happen. There's your pool. Pool and spa. It gets pretty deep there. I wonder if anybody's jumped off. I'm not doing it, but I'm kind of just curious. Let's check out the backyard. Pretty private backyard. You got your pool here. Now, over here, you'll notice there's a little bit of an issue over there, but what it is is they didn't like the barbecue grill being in the sun most of the day. So if you wanted to grill, like at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, you'll be on the sun. And in the summertime, that is brutal here in Vegas. So they rebuilt an entire built-in barbecue right here. So, you know, nice little touch. Also all the little things that matter. Over here is kind of where their garden is. This is where they have the fruit trees. I think they have oranges, lime, uh, kumquats, Actually, I don't know if it's kumquats, but that's a funny word, so I'm gonna use kumquat. Um, so again, there are gardens here. This is the part that wraps all the way around the balcony and then all the way down to the front. So it's obviously gated. So if you notice, again, because it was a model, if you look at the, 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 the way this concrete is built, this particular uh, concrete flooring is the same one that you'll find in the driveway. So it matches, again, it flows. There's no like randomness. But here, we're gonna check out the guest house. I like this guest house. This is the only room in the house, the entire 4,800 square foot home that does not have plantation shutters. Let's get some light in here. 
This obviously has its own AC unit. It's not a shocker. And so you'll notice the tile countertops, redundancy, matches. Matches tile, matches tile, matches cabinets. Um, the baseboards, it has a full bedroom. It's a full bedroom. It's got a full bath here. Full bathroom and a walk-in closet. And just in case it's not enough for you, that's actually a storage space. And there's two more storage spots right outside. So if it's not enough room, then that's, and you need more storage down there, storage over here. This house has, this room has a surround sound system. Fridge here, dishwasher. The only thing you really need is a microwave. And I guess a hot plate if you want to cook, but I never cook, so more than likely I need two microwaves. That way I can multitask and microwave two things at the same time. Oh wait, no, top ramen. Yeah, I need a hot plate. I need a hot plate, top ramen is critical. It's kind of survival. You can see the greenery here gives you privacy to your formal living room and your formal dining room. So it has a lot of nice touches. So you can literally sit here and enjoy the birds. Yep. Can you hear the birds? Oh, there you go. Middle of the day, nice peaceful community. So yeah, so by the way, if you have a brown thumb and you're not good with keeping plants alive or trees alive, either this house isn't for you or you gotta make sure you have a really good gardener because this is greenery all throughout. You've got fruit trees, you've got palm trees, you've got various bushes, you've got all sorts of greenery. It doesn't feel like you're in Las Vegas. If you like this home or would like a private tour, feel free to call me. Again, this is Sherwin Escanuela with Hunts and Ellis. Call me, 702-219-5582. And I'm telling you, this house is tight. Like my pants, a little too tight. But still, this is, this is a nice house. Well upgraded and well thought of. Every person has seen it, loves it. Come check it out.